So we got ourselves a little sailboat. So this is a really cool sailboat. So it's a simple design where we have capped the, the bottoms to try to keep the air in as tight as possible. Uh, we have a simple design that was on purpose. We got the sails. We got a big roll, big rudder on the back, uh, ready to make the turns as needed. So the question of the day is, will it float? So we got our trusty water here. So let's see if we could zoom out just a little bit. And we have our trusty water in our Pyrex dish and we got our boat and uh, let's go place it in the water and see if it's going to float. Oh, wow. Oh, that's doing well. It's doing very well. Whoa, that's the trick. If you want a Lego boat that floats, that's not those single piece hulls, the trick is trap the air as easily and, and efficiently as possible. So in this case, these, these items are trapped uh, with this bottom plate. The two by four bricks are trapped with two by four plates. So it's just one over one. It's not structurally sound. You know, when you build a wall, you want to overlap with Legos, right? In this case, you don't want to overlap. You want to lock in that air and then it floats. That's the trick. The trick is don't overlap as much as you can. So one over one, plates over plates, or plates over bricks and plates below bricks seem to be the trick. That gets you a floating boat. So if we ranked our boats so far, so this is our fourth boat, I'd put the sailboat first, then the tugboat, then the ocean liner, and then the fishing boat. And that makes sense. Um, so there you go, You got a, we have a floating boat. If I submerge it, it pops back up and it floats. That is a floating boat, a floating Lego boat. I didn't expect us to have one that floated this well, honestly. I thought we would have one that, like the, the, the previous ones, they would half capsize or half dip into the water. But if you trap the air well, you have a floating boat. So that's really cool. Hopefully um, you like this video. If so, please like and subscribe to our channel. We put out a new video each and every day. Especially if you guys are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe so you get notifications of when we get a new video out each and every day. Okay, let's go find out how I built this in about five minutes of time. Let's go check it out. So we need to build a sailboat. So let's put five minutes on the clock and let's go build a sailboat. So. We have been trying to make things uh, a little more stable and uh, it really hasn't added much value, but this is, this is going to be the sail, I think, something like that. Okay, so there's our sail and uh, maybe we even do something like this. Yeah, that could be a sailboat. And then use our, I'm going to use brown this time. Oh, I got a sneeze coming on. I'm fighting a cold is what I'm doing right now. So let's do that. Let's do the purple. I'm going this way this time. sailboat and then I think on the back side we'll do the upturn as well is that a sailboat we're one minute in and I already feel like we're close so sailboat needs to be a little bit wider to, pre to prevent it from falling over to the sides we need a rudder a rudder let's see what we can do for a rudder huh Maybe we stack these up like this. And then kind of looks like a ladder, right? And then this and then that like that. Looks like a rudder. 
<clears throat> Can we make our sail higher and a little more looking like it's on a pole of some sort? So let's try that. I mean, I could go back to back, but I think that looks a little silly. I think the offset looks good. And on top of that, if we're looking at trying to make sure that it floats this time, that's, uh, I think, a really good way of doing it. So now we're going to cap the bottom like this. Now, it's going to leak in through this edge. Is that going to be okay or not okay? I wonder. Actually, let's try something different. Let's try something different. We have, we've been close on getting it very buoyant, uh, but not 100% succeeding. So now what I'm going to try to do is just try to trap the air pockets without any seams. You know, there's a seam here, but there's not a seam where the air pocket is. So let's give that a try and see if that's going to float better than our last designs. You know, everything is iterative. If you don't know what the word iter iterative means, is it means you st start on step one, then you go to step two, then you go to step three, and then you go back to step two and redesign it in a way that uh, is going to keep progressing the design, keep progressing it in a direction of your goal. And our goal is to try to make it float. So maybe this is, maybe this is good enough. We have our little oar, or rudder. We got a rudder on the back. We got ourselves, the uh, sails are up. What other things can we put on the sailboat to make it look like, uh, more like a sailboat? I don't know, these dots don't add a lot of value. Could put a propeller out back. That'd be a little silly. We got 20 minutes left, or 20 seconds left. What can we do to add to the sailboat? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think there's anything. So, that turned out fairly good, and it was fairly quick. So we got our sails up here, we got them the masks, or is that what it's called? The poles? Uh, we got a rudder out back. We got the slope in the front. We got a slope in the back. Turned out fairly well. So let's go find out how, um, go, to, go to the beginning of the video to find out whether or not it floats or not. Then come on back and, uh, you know, play along with us. Play along, build this design, build a sailboat. I want to see your sailboats, see if they float. Take a picture. Share it on our social medias at Make Share Daily. Okay, thanks everybody for watching. Let's go check out what we're going to build tomorrow. So that sailboat was a fun build. Now we got to find out what we're going to build tomorrow. Again, all this week we have Will It Float Boat Challenge. So we have to build something that floats. And today it's going to be a cruise ship. So a cruise ship. So I'm thinking of like that Disney princess cruise ship. Um, or maybe the, what are some of the other names that have Norwegian, uh, Norwegian line. There's a bunch of cruise ships out there. So something large has many windows, um, something fairly large. So we got to build something that's a large boat that also floats. Let's go check out how I do it tomorrow. And I'll leave you with this. I want everybody in our community to make something and share something each and every day. That's the whole point of this channel is to have a community of makers going ahead and making whatever they love to make. I think you'll be happier and more engaged in life if you just go ahead and make something today. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.